Hello, this is Michael Stearns with Hero Web Marketing and Design. And today I'm going to give you a quick run through on setting up a category specific sale in the Mighty Merchant Site Manager. So here is our demo site, our, our bare bones simple test site, and we're in the shorts category with khaki shorts. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the site manager and set up this sale. So if you have the Mighty Merchant Site uh, Sale Manager installed, we're going to click on the sale link. And so I just moments ago went ahead and set up this sample. If you were doing this from scratch, you would just go ahead and click new sale. I'm going to go ahead and edit my sale right here and run through the fields. So I've gone ahead and named this July blowout. This is just an internal name that customers do not see. And we set a start date and an end date. So the end date, whatever that is that you select, your sale is going to end at midnight of that date. Then we go ahead and set a discount. I've go gone with 10 and I've set this as percent. You have the choice of percent and dollars off. And if you have a retail wholesale site, you could set a separate discount for wholesale customers. You also have the option of setting a coupon code, which the customer will need to enter in order for this to take effect. We're not going to do that in this case. And you all then have the choice of single use or not. So single use means de depending on the purchaser's address, they can only utilize the coupon one time if you have that set. Okay, so we are, have this checked off. We, is, we have many options for types of sites that can be tied into your, your main site manager. And at this point, we're going to assume we have a retail site and we have these checked off. We're not going to make a shipping sale, but you certainly could do that with these choices and check off if you want this sale to apply or have a uh, free shipping. But we are going to pass on that option right now and we are going to head over to this column on the other side and again we're, we're, there's a lot of options in here I just want to show you how to set something that's very simple so we are not doing a store-wide sale here we are doing a per category so you could easy, easily enough apply this to the whole site but we are going to just do one category and I'll show you how to set that in a moment all right, this is a very important field, apply once only, and I'll show you how when this is turned on and off, but in essence that this will either apply your discount individually to each item or it will apply it to the total of the order. This is particularly important if you chose dollars off because this will have a major impact if you're applying $5 off to every item on the site or only once to the total. In the case of percentage off, this will more just impact how the discount displays on the site. So we'll go ahead and look at that in a moment. All right, so I've put some text in here. So this product qualifies for our July blowout sale. I've even loaded a graphic, which is simple enough, just like in other areas of Mighty Merchant. You could click on Choose File and load any type of graphic from your that's on your hard drive that you want to include, and I'll show you where that is going to display on the site. And actually, we even though I'm not utilizing them on this site, we can have you know secondary graphics and different areas of text depending on how de developed you want to make your presentation. So in this case, I have a promo text line, I have a graphic, and then I have some more expanded text. This is our biggest sale ever. Don't miss out. You could put anything that you want in here. Um, so, and actually I put here only good through July 5th, which doesn't correspond with my end date. So I'm going to change that. So they mesh up. All right. So I put all these settings in here and simple enough. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then the next step is that what we want to do is apply this to a specific category. So I'm coming into my product catalog, summer clothes in what I need to do is come here and simply say place items under this category on sale from the drop down menu and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my July blowout sale. All right, so it was that easy. So now the sale is applied just to that category on the site. It's not applied to other items. And what's really important to understand is that Mighty Merchant applies a sale to individual items. So when I set that category on sale, that Mighty Merchant has gone in and set the individual items in this category. And let's see, I'm going to come here and uh, let's see the eggs. I'm going to go back. Okay, so we're in shorts. Just want to make sure I've I'm in the right my right sample product here. 
let's come to man here we go okay so this is our product here that I that I already had any of the products in this category would have been or are on sale but I had specifically uh, set this up on in my sample of the site so this is this is where this is set to sale if you want to take this item off sale you could easily deselect this but right now everything in this category is on sale and that's really there's there's nothing else that you need to do in this product unless you particularly want to take this product off sale but I'd like to show you what happens now that we have set the sale so now that I set it to everything in this category I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and here's what we have so if you remember when I set up the sale and loaded my graphic here I, my, my artistic skills are not the greatest but hopefully you get the idea of what we can do and this is why we have expert designers on our staff but this is my sale graphic and so now these pieces of text this was my promo text headline and this was the descriptive text that these get inserted on this page so this is just a very basic example and this is where we you know we can work with you to understand exactly how you want to present this information but what's important is that uh, going back to maybe the key key uh, feature in here that is important to understand that this sale was applied to individual items so you can see how this says was fifty dollars now only forty five I'm gonna add this to the cart and you can see I've, I've added a few here uh, already but you can see that each individual line item reflects this price discount now if I come back to my site manager and I go to my sales and I'm going to go ahead and adjust our sale click edit sale and I'm going to change this now so I'm going to apply this once only to the entire order because this is important and, and a key, key feature to understand and so now I'm going to come back to my site and I'm going to refresh let's go ahead and click this and so now that the sale is not applied to the individual items but this is where the sale discount coupon is shown at the bottom so this is applied to the entire order so that's important to understand and to see how that works all right so with those simple steps that the sale is now set up that customers can go in and order and get your discount and it's really that easy so hopefully if you have this feature you can utilize this it's great as i said to either be able to set up per category or more specifically per item sales so thank you very much